Okay, next exercise is overexposure. The image shown is overexposed. It's too bright. Okay, this might have happened to you taking photos, getting too much light in your shot, and then you end up with a very bright picture. And we want to fix this. So we're going to make a rule with the class too bright, and we're going to use the brightness filter and give it a parameter of 0.8 to basically adjust the brightness. And let's go ahead and get started. So when you run this image, you'll see that it is definitely overexposed. The image almost looks faded because there's just way too much light in it. So we're going to fix that with the brightness filter, and we're going to do that in the CSS. So we have the too bright class, and we're going to use that for our style rule. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with the selector. And remember, it is oops, always going to be filter and brightness is the name of the filter that we're using. It takes a value in percentage, so 0.8 is what we want, and we basically are reducing the brightness. So the default value for a picture is one, representing 100%, and we're taking it from 100% down to 80% at 0.8. So let's save that and refresh. And it looks like that has fixed it. Let's double check and make sure that our, yeah. Okay, I know this looks like it has actually messed up the picture, but it actually is giving you a clearer image of the pencils. And what you can do is you can even experiment with different values. If you take this all the way down to zero for 0%, zero it's basically going to take all the light away and give you a, um, black image. So if you play around with that, you'll notice now we have no light. Okay, so remember, again, I know I've been saying this throughout lesson 13, but these are totally customizable and you want to understand what it is that you're feeding these filters. So here we're giving it percentage values, 100% is the default, and we took it down to 80 to fix that overexposure. So your final result should be an image that looks like this. Nice work on overexposure. Keep it up, everyone.